Kicking off the list at number 11 is the 11th boss, Celosia, the Flame Guardian. This Colossus is to most people their least favorite boss, and I honestly don't see why. To beat him, what you have to do is not do what I just did there. <laughs> to beat him, what you have to do is have him hit some torches. As you can see, I'm running towards one. And you have to make him bump into it. As to which, a stick, of all things, will fall from it. <laughs> Quality footage. Once the stick has fallen, you have to pick it up. And then, once you've picked it up, light on fire with the torch. And the stick. So, light on fire with the torch. And then, Celosia is scared of fire for some reason. So, use his one weakness of being scared of fire. And scare him off of a cliff. Once done, his armor will break. Once the armor is broken, you're free to jump off the cliff and then stab him in the back. A lot of people have the same problem. That being the fact that if you get hit, he will stun lock you to death. I didn't have this problem. Here's the trick. Mash buttons and you will get up faster. And always he won't be able to stun lock you to death if you just mash buttons. I don't I did get hit like three or four times throughout this battle, but they weren't back to back stun locking. They were due to me not being able to find a stick or not being able to get away in time. Not due to him stun locking me in one area. Sadly he doesn't take too many hits once he's, you know, taken once you are on him, he takes like three hits. Maybe even two if you fully charge all the stabs. And try and get a jump step off. That may or may not one shot him. <laughs> Haven't tried it yet. But yeah, this Colossus, I don't have too many complaints with them. Other than he's just super easy. And at number 10, we have the 10th Colossus. That's like the third time that the Colossus placement in the game and the placements on this have been the same. Dudge. Now, Dudge, as a boss, can be really fun or really frustrating if you know what to do. <laughs> I found this boss to be more on the fun side and less on the frustrating side. So, this guy is a strange case on how to beat him. So, what I have to do is aim for his eyes. Yeah, you have to ride on aggro at full speed as he tries to hunt you down. And then, shoot an arrow at his eye. So, one arrow in one of his eyes and he will spiral out of control and ram into a wall. So this boss has more of a horror feel to him. Because what well, the music is absolutely threatening in every single way. It's called a messenger from behind for obvious reasons. <laughs> And this boss can do a crap ton of damage, nearly one shotting Wanda. And he is pretty easy if you don't get hit. And I have only one minor complaint, and that is, you know, riding gag or shooting arrows, they just don't go together at all. <laughs> because they don't go together in any way. <laughs> Sometimes Wanda would just aim at the ceiling for no reason. And that can be quite aggravating for obvious reasons. Other than that, it's a fun boss. And yeah, that's all you have to be say about him. So, yeah. At number 9, we have the first boss in the game. Valis. And this boss is really epic. Let me change the lighting real quick. Okay, made the lighting a bit darker. Anyway. So, to beat this behemoth that is rather small. <laughs> to beat 
beat this colossus, what you have to do is jump onto its leg, specifically the left one, and then stab it. I'd prefer you go for it two times, because he will be down. Like, basically, stabbing him makes him kneel down. Stabbing him two times will make him kneel down for longer, to put it simply. And once you've done that, you then just gotta climb up him, climb up his butt, climb up his platforms on his back, climb up his actual back, make your way towards his head, and then stab him. It doesn't take much to kill this boss, but he is fun. <laughs> now, here's why he's a good boss. <laughs> There's nothing annoying about him. He's not super hard. He's not cheap. And there's nothing frustrating about him. And he really sets the tone for the rest of the game in a really well way. And in my opinion, provides a fair challenge with what little health you have. Because I actually nearly died to him. And I felt generally threatened when I first saw him. And I think you can see why from that shot right there. But this Colossus... You're most likely not going to die to him. He doesn't pose much of a threat. You will most likely won't even get hit from him. I just sucked at the game my first time. But, yeah, he's a good boss all around. Good first boss. And he really makes you want to come back and play the game more. So, yeah. That's what I got to say about him. For number 8, I'm going with the only confirmed female colossus, the War Shadow herself, Kuro Mori. <laughs> and this boss is, again, it's colossus, number 8 on the list, good lord. <laughs> That's the fourth time now. Anyway, so to beat this boss, what you have to do is something pretty simple. Take a book out of Basuran. Shoot an arrow at the glowy parts of their legs. And that's pretty much what you gotta do. Make Kumoi climb up the walls by agitating her. And then... Well, shoot her glowing legs. Maybe if I can be so generous as to show you... Yep, see them glowing legs? Once you actually make her climb up the walls, shoot each... Shoot Two of them, and she will then fall. The higher up the Coliseum she's in, the longer she'll be knocked out for. Once she has fallen, you then have to, well, stab her. One in the lower belly, I'm just going to call it, and one in her chest. Once this is done, repeat, rinse, repeat, and she'll be dead. This boss, though, does have... It might go to the frame rate. This boss does have a very powerful attack, though. That being her breath. <laughs> this can very quickly damage you if you're not paying attention. And you could possibly die from her. She's a very easy boss to die to. <laughs> and... I personally, for some reason, had way too much trouble with this boss. Don't ask me why, but this boss was just a pain in the butt for me. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I got to say about this boss. And I said I was going to do four colossi per video. That was four colossi. See you for point three of this list.